Hello everyone, in this video, I am going to show you how to solve IMEI problem and only 3G problem in Moto G5 S Plus. At the end of this video, your Moto G5 S Plus will be having IMEI number, network will be shown and 4G will be activated as in stock. As you can see, there is no network and IMEI number is zero. No network but SIM card is detected. Now what you got to do is switch off the phone and switch it on in bootloader mode. Then select recovery mode and see if TWRP recovery is installed. If there is TWRP, you may continue further, but if, there is no TWRP, then you need to install it first. In my case, no TWRP recovery so I need to install it first. In case of no command, long press the power button. Then go back to bootloader mode and connect phone with PC or laptop. After connecting phone with laptop, open ADB command and install TWRP recovery. Now, again turn on phone in bootloader mode and select recovery mode. Copy the last custom ROM that you used, in internal storage of phone. Wipe the system, data, and cache as shown in video. and install the custom ROM. Ok, so let's see if there is network. Yeah, network is showing up. Now, let's see if there is 4G. So although network is shown, there is no 4G. Let's try to enable it going to setting. Let's go to setting, then to network and internet setting, mobile network and advanced, then set preferred network type to 4G.
No 4G yet right? So here's the solution for it. Turn off the phone and turn it on in bootloader mode again. I have a not yet disconnected phone from my laptop. So, I am giving these commands directly. If you've disconnected go on and connect first then give commands. Yes, I know you are surprised. These two commands caused all those trouble and now these came up as savior. Let's go further. Now, go on and start your phone. Hell yeah! We got our 4G or LTE signal back. Now, let's check IMEI number. Yes, we also got our IMEI number back. And now, we need all these in our stock ROM, right? Ok shut down the phone. Restart it in bootloader mode again. Now run all the codes to install stock ROM but, this time, do not use fast boot erase modems 1 and fast boot erase modems 2. You can copy paste the codes and enter. I am speeding video up because I believe this process is well known. As you see, we got the network and 4G signal is also activated. Let's check IMEI2. So there's IMEI number 2. Yeah, we solved all three problems. Thanks for watching. If this video was helpful, please hit the subscribe button.